Now, a trade dispute between Brazil and the U.S. is brewing once again. Brazil claims that the recently signed U.S. Farm Bill gives unfair protection to American cotton producers. The World Trade Organization will be acting as a referee. Paulo Cabral has more. Brazil has decided to delay retaliation measures against the U.S. on trade subsidies as it awaits a decision from the World Trade Organization. Recently, the government reopened a trade case with the WTO to examine the U.S. legislation that is supposed to fix the loopholes in farm subsidies ruled unfair by the organization before taking additional measures. Brazil is taking a conscious approach to avoid further damage to Brazil and U.S. relations. The lawyer representing the Association of Brazil's cotton producers say the association supports the government even though it would prefer to retaliate now. Our, our evaluation was that retaliation was a stronger weapon in terms of creating pressure on the United States to negotiate and to change their laws. The big issue about the, the, the U.S. subsidies is because they distort the international prices of cotton. And Brazil is the third biggest producer in the world. And Brazil is very interested, of course, in on having a competitive price for cotton international market. The U.S.-Brazil Chamber of Commerce say this won't damage the relationship between the two countries. Uh, both governments have made very clear that this is solely a trade issue and not a political issue, that this will not uh, affect any political ties or diplomatic relations. Obviously, there's a lot of competition, but I think it's pretty clear to both sides that the more we collaborate, the more we work together, uh, be it in any sector, the better it is for both countries, for the competitiveness of both countries. Brazilian producers say cotton prices could be up to 13% higher in the international market if it weren't for unfair U.S. subsidies. If this doesn't change, they want to retaliate and make the United States pay for it. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.